What's going on guys? How are you guys doing? Uh, let's talk about stream transitions. It's something a lot of people aren't utilizing and you know what? I want to help out. I want to give you guys a hundred free stream transitions and we're talking five different styles with 20 different color options and then also a file where you can go into Adobe After Effects and you can configure and get the exact color you want. And you might be asking, what is a transition? Well, that, that was a transition. Pretty cool, right? And you know, before we get into this, um, let's go ahead and roll my transition. What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about stream transitions, because this is something a lot of you guys aren't using. And I'm generalizing here, so don't get mad if you are using them, good for you. Um, but some of you that are using them are honestly using them kind of wrong. You are not matching them to the color of what your stream looks like. And that's okay, because that's why we got this pack of, they're very simple transitions, and you can pick from five different types that I've got, and obviously you don't have to use the ones I have, but maybe this brings a little more awareness to the fact that maybe you aren't using transitions, or maybe you wanna do some custom ones and do some research on that. So it's very easy, it's very easy to create them, it's very easy to import them and use them, and that's what this video is about. So there's gonna be timestamps down below to where I show off the transitions I've created, and all the different color palettes and stuff like that, and then also tutorials for stream elements or stream um, OBS studio and Streamlabs OBS. That way you guys can see how to actually utilize those inside of your streaming program that you prefer. So we're gonna do all that and you know, and also if you want to check them out, they're gonna be in our Discord, link down below. Go ahead and head over there to pick up the files and stuff if you wanna follow along for the tutorials. And also tons of free stuff and it hits there before it hits the video. So if you wanna get the insider scoop and already have this stuff before other people, go ahead and join our community discord and stay a while. Go ahead and hang out see if you guys like it. So let's go ahead and take a look at those transitions. All right, this is gonna be the first of two tutorials in this video. This first one kind of targets how to uh, add transitions into OBS, OBS Studio, and Stream Elements OBS, and the second one's going to show you guys how to use um, or add the transitions into Stream Labs OBS. Timestamp will be down below so you can find that and not have to wait through this one if that's what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and jump into that now for this right here. The first thing you want to do is go down to the scene transitions tab and we're going to click on this plus and then we're going to click stinger because that's the type of transition we're using and then we're going to go ahead and give it a name so i'm going to name this circle because i'm going to be using a circle transition and then i will click ok the next thing we need to do is find the video file we want to use so make sure to go to the discord and download those files if you don't have them and come back to this video and all that cool stuff. So we'll click browse and then we will find the one we want to use. So I've got mine on my desktop, Stinger Transitions. I'm gonna go to light gray because that's what I wanna use for this video. And we will go with, actually let's use something other than light gray. Let's try something, let's go with a yellow orange. No, that looks awful, I, I, I don't like that color. <laughs> um, I'm being picky now, oh no, oh no. Um, let's go with uh, light gray, let's just use light gray, I, whatever. <laughs> And we're going to use the circle stinger because that's what I want to use. And we're going to change the transition point type to frame. And we're going to set that to 45 frames. And once we get done with that, we can actually preview the transition here and see what it looks like. So we can see a circle and then A and B, which is awesome. We'll click OK. And now if circle transition is selected over here, whenever we change from one of our scenes over here on our left to another scene, we now get a perfect circle transition and whenever we go back same thing as well so that is how easy it is to do it there now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it inside of Streamlabs OBS so now I'm gonna show you guys how to add custom transitions inside of Streamlabs OBS it is a little bit different than OBS OBS studio and stream elements OBS if you want to see how to do that 
timestamp down below. It actually takes you back farther in the video. So if you accidentally clicked on this one and you're like, this isn't what mine looks like, check that out and maybe your OBS looks a little bit more similar to one of those three. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll want to do is click the edit scenes transition gear, which is located right next to scenes. And then we're gonna click add transition. Our transition, we need to give a name. So I'm gonna call this circle because I'm gonna use the circle transition again like I did in the other tutorial. And we're gonna change this from a cut to a stinger. Our stinger duration is gonna stay the same and we need to find our video file. So I'm going to use, let's see, stingers. I'm gonna go to my desktop because this is where I've got the folder. And then I'm going to use the light gray circle stinger. And then we're gonna change this from time milliseconds to frames, frame point, uh, the transition point is gonna be 45. And then we're gonna click done. And then make sure this circle for the default is selected to the transition that you just made. And then click done. And then whenever you change scenes, it should update with your new transition. So there we go. And we can see our transition is working perfectly. So all right guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Do you want to add some polish or spice to your scene transitions? Maybe you're thinking of just adding something cooler like this. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up these scene transitions inside Streamlabs and of course inside OBS, as well as giving you guys a whole pack of free stingers for you to try out and have a play with. Let's go. Hey everyone, my name is LJ from streamscheme.com and also a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. Links to both those in the description. If we don't have a video on this channel covering a topic, then I promise you we have an article over at streamscheme.com covering it. So if you want to find some help, that's a great place to start. All free, get into it. As I said, we've got some really fun stinger transitions for you guys today, as well as some cool polished transitions that we're going to set up. But before we get into that and show you how to use them, I want to throw it- Hey, so this guy actually forgot to tell you guys that we're sponsored. This whole video is sponsored by Owned3D. And not just that, but to celebrate the fact that this is our very first sponsor, they've gone an extra mile and given us a bunch of $50 Owned3D vouchers for you guys to win. I'll tell you guys how to win those vouchers in a second, but first I'm gonna throw it out there that if you don't know who owns 3 are, they are your one-stop shop for all things streaming related. Seriously, you want emotes, they've got emotes. You want full stream packages, you got full stream packages. You guys want anything, including Stinger. 